Well, it's a big night at Pilgrim High School in Warwick as the football team prepares for their homecoming game. However, there is a small issue looming over tonight's game. There is no place to sit for fans. The bleachers were shut down after it was discovered that they're not up to code. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts is live in Warwick with the latest on the situation and what the school's doing about it. Amanda? Yeah, tonight's homecoming game here at Pilgrim High School will look a bit different compared to previous years, all because of those bleachers. They were closed earlier this week, or last Thursday rather, due to code violations. So where we're standing now on the school's track is where students and spectators will be watching the game. We want to give you a closer look at the setup they have here. Sections of the track have been taped off. One section for students to watch the game, the other for adult spectators. And it's the same on the visiting team side where Tollgate students and spectators will watch. The bleachers date back to 1965 and they were closed off on Thursday after a parent from another school raised a red flag that the bleachers weren't up to code. The code requires spacing between the floor and the seats to be no greater than four inches. The spacing between the bleachers here at Pilgrim are 18 inches. Now, obviously, this couldn't come at a worse time, this big homecoming game tonight, and now the school is gearing up for the big Thanksgiving Day game in a few weeks. And we spoke with the athletic director here at Pilgrim about how they are working on bringing the bleachers up to code. We'll have those details for you coming up at 6. For now, live in Warwick, Amanda Pitts, 12 News. Mike Pilgrim High in Warwick is hosting its homecoming game without bleachers. We reported yesterday that they've been closed. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts joins us now live from Pilgrim with how the school is handling the situation. Amanda? Hey, yeah, hey, Mike, as you can hear, the homecoming game will be underway in a few minutes here at Pilgrim High School, but it will be looking a bit different tonight, and it's all because of this. The stands here at the high school are closed until further notice due to a code violation, and so where we're standing on the track is where students and other spectators will be watching tonight's game. Take a look at this video. It gives you a closer look at the setup. Sections of the track have been taped off. One section for students to watch the game, another for a adult spectators and Tollgates fans. The bleachers date back to 1965 and they were closed off on Wednesday after a parent from another school raised a red flag that the bleachers weren't up to code. The code requires spacing between the floor and seats to be no greater than four inches. The spacing between the bleachers here at Pilgrim were found to be 18 inches. Now, despite this happening before one of the biggest games of the season, students are making do. We met with the students and the students I talked to. I think maybe it's a product of COVID where they've learned to change on the fly and make the best of things. Um, right now, right away, they were kind of like, well, well, let's make this best we can. So we've taken here, we've taken, made this a student section, Tollgate student section there, adults here to separate and kind of section everything off using the space we have and doing the best we can. Now I'm told bringing these bleachers up to code is in the hands of the school department and they're working on making them up to code safe enough for people to be on them for the next big game Thanksgiving in a few weeks. Live in Warwick, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.